Yo, what is up, dudes? So, another day, another Donner. We have a new Hush guitar by Donner here. Feels heavy. I believe this is their new electric Hush. So the last two we had here were acoustic, and this is the new Hush X, as the name says. <laughs> it's weird when it's like reverse on you. Right there. So let's uh, let's open this up, and we can take a look at it. Got a little weight to it, that's for sure. Oh, it's a bag. Yeah. Right there. The new Donner Hush X. There we go. Right there. Let's check it out. Nice bag. Oh, it's got like a pouch system here. I'm assuming that this, much like the other one, has the wings. It does. There's the wings right there. And there's one of the wings. Let me get this out. There, right there. And here's the other one, right there. And then it has a bunch of stuff in here. Looks like it comes with a polishing cloth, as you can see right there. Uh, Allen wrenches. A cable. Donner always seems to include a cable. Uh, booklet and what do we have here oh these are the headphones that's right the Donner Hush typically comes with uh, earbuds and it does well it's got a few different size um, you can see it right there there are the earbuds there you are can I get them over on this camera yeah, yeah. There are the earbuds, and this are the, you know, additional sized, um, you know, rubber uh, uh, fillers, plugs, bud stuff. <laughs> you know, it's this part. The domes, rubber domes. There's, there's probably an official name for it. All right, well, that was, oh, we have more. Of course, there's a strap. I was say, where's this? Donner usually includes a strap. They're pretty good about that. We have a nice strap right there. And the Donner straps are usually have a ton of adjustment in them. Uh, how do you get this one? Does it pop up? No? Hmm. It's quite uh, robust. Can we get this? Whoa. I'm, I'm sure I'm missing something. I think I might have to pop this up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah do I have a little... I can use to get under there. There it is. I knew that. Eventually. And then <laughs> it adjusts like nothing and you click it back down. And I don't even think I can get this on camera once it's maybe right there. Now they're quite, they're nice. And it's, a, you know, that, um, we call that like the seat belt style material. Let's see if you can see in this little cam over here. 
right there. Yeah, okay. That that's that's the outside part. Now let's get to the guitar. Do, do, do. Ooh, all right. It's got a little protective block. Okay, right there up at the top. Show that's part of the packaging. I don't think you're supposed to use that afterwards. I, I doubt it. I think that's just for shipping. So there's the case. Right there. You see what the inside is. Uh, padded quite nicely, actually. Very padded. And we have the guitar right there. Let's pull the string protector off. I really like the fret protector. One, two, get this like three. Now let's get a little silica pack in there. And done. Now, if this is like the other ones, let me just pull these plastics off. I can really look. I tell you, I like the styling of it. I have to say, just just a quick glance down here. I kind of like the very uh, modern. You know, I, I like the the double, and uh, I like the look of the little switch there almost very computer like oh yeah you can see it right there and it is a fixed bridge right and it just tunes down here and I believe these are mahogany bodies the mahogany neck you can see it on this camera here and a um, there's all the the hush controls right there. If I can get it on cam right here. Um, it's a composite fretboard, I'm 99% sure. And of course they always do the beautiful fret end work. I don't know if, I, if you can see it on camera here. Very, very nicely done. All right. Yeah. Kind of a good good looking guitar. Got a little weight to it. Um, what we can do is we can add, of course, the, the wings. Uh, I'm assuming these go on like, like that. What seems to be going on? No? Like, oh, no, no. It, it seems to be going on. My nope, not. Is it actually? Huh? You just push it in. Feel like it screws in. There's like a little ball bearing in there. Oh yeah, yeah, right. I think you just push it in. Unless I have it backwards. Maybe it goes like that. No? Does it screw? I'll have to look this up. See how it has sort of like a post in there and then a post in here. So let me figure this out. Not to, what do I pull the oh 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 wait a second you pull it back it's a um I have some screwdrivers like that what is that not bayonet it's um you know when you pull it back you know you've got some sawzalls like that you pull back the shroud and the blade gets out you pull it back and it releases the ball back that's why it wouldn't go in 
because was you have to pull it back. Look at me figuring it out. Look at the brain on Steve. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, right, right, right. And then this goes on the top. This little bit goes up here. This little thing goes down here. And we pull this back to really show that. You can see when you pull it back, there's a little O-ring in there. I think this cam is going to be best. Like a little O-ring. It takes the, right, you can see the, um, there's little ball bearings in there. It takes the pressure off the ball bearings, opens those up, and then we just have to line this up. Yep, like that. And make sure that's in, and you're in. There you go. It's just that simple. I have to say, it is better than the old system where you had to use an Allen wrench to add and remove. Because now, you just pull this back and it pulls off, right? Well, I don't want to put it back in, but yeah. You can just pull that back, but before that, it won't, it won't come off. It stays on. All right. Okay. Now, I will tune this up, plug it in, and we can check out the humbucker in the single coil that they have here. Yeah, it's a good... It's got a little weight to it, especially once you add those wings to it. Definitely has a little bit of weight to it. Sort of like a, you know, like a light guitar would, would be. It's not lighter than like your lightest electric. Like if you have, I'll bet this is in the six to seven pound range. All right, let me plug it in. We'll check it out. I will see you in a second. All right, we are back with the Donner Hush X. Uh, so a little bit about the controls. Let me just move this out of the way here so I can see it. Um, the outer ring is your volume, which is nice and easy to turn. The inner ring is the tone, which is actually a little uh, tougher to turn, so you don't accidentally move your your tone. Your three-way right here. Let's make sure I get this right here. Your three-way is the back uh, the bridge. And then uh, both. But there's the bridge. I feel like the neck on this one's a little slimmer than the other ones that were acoustic. I feel like that neck was maybe a touch bigger. Um, so this does de definitely feels more like an electric neck, you know, than an acoustic neck. Uh, I believe it is a composite material from what I can see. The um, truss rod adjustment, adjustment is at the bottom under that little plate. Uh, the bridge was uh, very easy to work and to move. Very smooth. Surprisingly so. Usually these type of bridges, these uh, neurals, can be a little, little uh, uh, stiff, little, you know, they jump a little bit sometimes. Uh, this was very smooth. Very, very smooth. And what else can I tell you about it? It has got an active and a passive system in it, so there's a battery in the back. And you can plug in an external source to that little that little source jack right there. And then switch it from passive to active and then get both of them. It will combine the two and you can listen to both through the headphones. And uh The headphone jack is right there. I thought so. 
Um, and if you read the manual, they were like, yeah, see, when you go to active, it turns off. Because I didn't install the battery. Um, the reason why they do the active and the passive like that is because they said they just don't want a situation where you can't use the guitar without a battery, right? So what if you don't have a battery and you just want to use the guitar passively using magnetic pickups, then um, you can do that. That's how I have it set up right now. So there's no active electronics. These are the passive pickups that you're hearing. But like I said, you can turn it active. And I don't know how that active works. I think it just adds the control, adds the circuitry to allow the, um, the external source to work. And uh, maybe it adds a cab simulator, you know, or a little amp simulator, so you can hear it through your headphones, right? But if you use passive, it's just straight out to the jack, which I was worried wasn't going to fit, but it, it fit. And that's a pretty big, that's a, um, you know, that's a good size uh, jack plug at the end, and it cleared it. Right there. All right, so... Here is the bridge pickup. And now here is both. <laughs> tell you what it's got surprising bass and resonance to it uh you know for a such a small bodied guitar I, I gotta i gotta i gotta admit the bass is a little surprising all right let's change to uh you know one of the uh, you know I, I tend to use the same patches every time just so you can hear the differences we if you go back and you listen to other videos it's literally the identical system this is the tweed i tend to use this for the for the clean sounds and of course that's the bridge here's the neck you can hear the drop because of the single coil and 
then there's both. Here's the neck. And then there's the bridge. As you would expect, it's um, hotter and more mid punch at the bridge. And more scooped and. You know, a little bit uh, lower output. All right. Let's go to that behave lead. This is another one I like to touch on because it's a. Uh, it's like a straight up. no compressor on that patch uh, let's go back from whence we started we I feel like we like the um, it, it's also a Marshall but it's got an overdrive in front of it which uh, we'll probably compress it Mike. All right, dudes. Well, there you have it. The Donner Hush X electric travel guitar. Uh, portable. And uh, there you have it. I will leave a link in the description for more information. And as always, thanks so much for hanging out and rock on.